What is going on, my Houston Texans family? We made yet another quarterback change. The Houston Texans have benched Kyle Allen after two horrible performances in the Cleveland Browns game and the Miami Dolphins game. They have benched him for Davis Mills. Davis Mills has these five games left in the season to show us exactly what he's got. But going more on the Kyle Allen and Davis Mills situation, when the benching happened right for Kyle Allen, there was two questions that were going to be asked. Can the offense look worse? And two, is it, you know, is Pep Hamilton really, you know, the guy who we thought he was? Is Davis Mills holding him back? And both questions were answered. The offense did look worse than what it was with Kyle Allen in the Miami Dolphins game. It was 30 to nothing at halftime. They took out their starters in the middle of the third quarter. There was nothing offensively. There was nothing, you know, promising that Kyle Allen showed you in that Dolphins game that gave you some type of excitement for Cleveland. And then last week against the Browns, they didn't have to score an offensive touchdown to win this game. It was the Kyle Allen pick six. It was the Kyle Allen quarterback sneak where he fumbled the ball. He just looked completely lost out there. And nonetheless, Davis Mills is now back as starting quarterback for the Houston Texans. And to me, the vision doesn't change. I don't care what Davis Mills does in these next five games. Even though I still support the dude and I still want this dude, you know, to... To prove some of the haters wrong, you had a shot to show us that we didn't have to go in and need a quarterback. We didn't have to draft Bryce Young. We didn't have to draft C.J. Stroud. We still knew we were going to be bad, but we were looking for progression in Davis Mills, and it wasn't there whatsoever. The answer has been solved and questioned and answered on Davis Mills. He is not the quarterback solution for this Houston Texans team. That's why, you know, in these five games, how is the offense going to look, right? Some are saying we are going to see Davis Mills go out and just absolutely ball out and show everyone and go out on his shield. I'm sorry. This is a 17-game season. Nothing you do in the past five is going to change my mind on how it is. You still go into this offseason looking at the quarterback in free agency, looking at the quarterback via the draft, whether that is Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud. And, you know, we just saw the Houston Texans last attempt to put the best team out there together. How do I think Davis Mills is going to play in these last five games? I don't know. History, you know, tells us that this offense is just not good. That's why I was looking not only for a benching, but maybe you see Pep Hamilton lose his play calling, you know, get something taken away from him. But I don't think the offense is going to be doing any much changing. It's still going to be one of the worst passing attacks in the NFL. And just, you know, an offense with no type of identity, you know, no type of scheme. So there's five games left in this season. Davis Mills, show us what you have. Give us a good evaluation of Nico Collins. Help Damian Pierce win Rookie of the Year. And get us, and for sure us, the number one overall pick in this draft. And you have done your service for the Houston Texans. It's kind of sad, you know, to have the conversation now because we were at the beginning of the season. Can Davis most do it? Is he the answer? Is he the guy? And he answered that himself, and that was no. And now with five games left in the season, you are rooting for him, right, to show that he could potentially be something. But this is a business at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, the Houston Texans need a quarterback going into the offseason. You guys let me know how you feel about the Davis Mills. I'm sorry, about the Kyle Allen bench. It is the Davis Mills time. Maybe the last time we see Davis, Davis Mills start a couple of games for the Houston Texans. Y'all let me know how you feel. Go Texans. Y'all have a blessed day.